Hello, I'm Dr. Dennis Hartlieb, and I'm here to demonstrate Cosmodent's tip of the month related to posterior direct composites. I've used Cosmodent's Cosmic Core buildup material for tooth number three for the core buildup, but today's discussion is going to center around using direct resin composites to restore these class two restorations. The key to developing ideal class two composites is to first transition your class twos into class one composites. After sectional matrices are placed and, and wedges are placed, we're using the total etch system, or we're using phosphoric acid, and then following with Cosmodent's Cosmodent Complete fifth generation adhesive. The adhesive is like here for 20 seconds. Now we're going to start out with the mesial most restoration, and we're going to start with Cosmodent's DMARC hybrid flowable composite. The DMARC is placed at the cervical box in a thin layer, and an explorer is used to bring the composite onto the matrix band. An instrument is utilized to support the matrix band while the DMARC is light cured. Cosmodent's nano composite is then injected into the distal box, and the excess is removed, creating a wall that runs from buccal to lingual from cervical to the occlusal to create a one millimeter wall to transition the class two into a class one. This proximal wall is light cured and then the matrix is removed and the wedge is repositioned to apply adequate pressure. Now the second restoration, the DMARC is placed and with pressure with an, uh, with an instrument, that is also light cured. Cosmodent's nano composite again is injected to fill that mesial box and a wall is created forming the mesial wall. That, my, that matrix band is then removed. Then we go to the distal. Again, the DMARC is placed along the cervical box, light cured with support with an instrument, and then the Cosmodent nano composite injected to support that distal wall from buccal to lingual, from cervical to occlusal, about one millimeter thick to create the entire wall. At this point, we have transitioned our class two composites into two class one composites. So we're going to inject now the nano composite to support the buccal cusp and the lingual cusp in increments, and each increment is cured for 10 seconds. Following those buccal lingual increments, then we're going to actually use an incisal translucent com nano composite, which will allow our composite to have more depth and create a restoration that has more natural characteristics. It is important to use eccentric syringes to inject the composite to be certain that you're not leaving any voids between the tooth structure and the composite. Each layer is cured for 10 seconds. The excess is removed, creating ideal tooth form and contour. Following the buildup of the composite, the nano composite restoration, some tinting is done using a number one brush from Cosmodent where many of the bristles have been cut off using the light brown, the dark brown tints, and the white opaque to create natural aesthetic effects for these posterior restorations. Following application of the tints, the restorations are cured for a final 60 seconds. After curing, we're using a Brassler burr, the 8392-016, to adjust the uh, proximal contours. A series of carbide and steel burrs are used for final anatomy contouring and for polishing. Cosmodent's flexi disc is used to heighten the contour at the marginal ridge, and then a groovy brush from Clinician's Choices used to apply the final polish.